But not only did they have fun doing the show, but they also had a lot of fun. And Daryl hinted toward this kind of off the air. A lot of things went on in the studio, oh, I'm boy. sure, Al. Oh, you, we couldn't tell you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Roger, he was the blunt of a lot of jokes. But you couldn't break them up. You could not break them up. Well, there were some times that were close. Yeah. So what kind of things was Dad said he used to cut your hair uh, while they were in between taping the uh, episode? And, right. Uh, Roger uh, worked his, helped work his way through uh, McAllister College by cutting hair. In fact, uh, uh, Fritz Mondale was one of his uh, clients. <laughs> but we'd get into a cartoon and, uh, and uh, Roger would... Uh, have his little shaving kit with him. And the longest cartoon I think we had was about Little Warner Brothers, maybe five and a half minutes or something. And the guy would come up and get the five and a half minute haircut. And the shortest cartoon was a Gumby. Two, and a half, two minutes and 37 seconds. Guess when I got my haircut. That was it. And that haircut worked out for you. It's still the same. <laughs> it's still the same. And we've got some great uh, Grandma Lumpet stuff coming up and some more Roundhouse Rodney. I want to say, and I'm, I'm sure you'll agree, guys, that uh, what made lunch with Casey, Casey and Roundhouse so popular is the team of Lynn Dwyer, Roundhouse Rodney, and Casey. Now all the bits that you see, believe me, like Darrell uh, uh, said earlier, we had no uh, budget, we had no script, we had nothing. We shot, shoot from the hip, Roundhouse would come up with an idea, uh, and prior to the show, I was directing a half hour news weather sports show, and Roundhouse would come into the um, uh, control room and say, Oh, Al, you know, he's called me Uncle Al. Hey, I'm going to do a car a Tarzan bit. Here's a, a record, and I need this and that. And here's a piece of film. Okay, boom. We'd get in the first cartoon, run out to the studio, get something set up, and go back in and cue them, and we were live. And <laughs> The upside-down bit that you saw, there was a, a little bit of a thing before that where um, Roundhouse played Professor Sauerkraut von Strudel, and he had a uh, time machine, and we didn't see that. But what we did was we had to, on the camera, there was a switch where you could turn the picture upside down. So we turned the picture upside down and then had to hang the whole set upside down and so it looked then the the floor became the ceiling we had to staple all everything to the table but it turned out to be one <laughs> one of the greatest bits and it's really a pleasure to have John Casey and uh, Bobby Austin here and I I don't think uh, the evening uh, would be uh, Settled without singing the happy birthday song. Now let me tell you a little bit about the happy birthday. The kids would send in their cards. And uh, when Casey was busy doing something else, somebody would go up in his office, type a couple of legitimate names, and then we'd type in like, I mean sideways, uh, or fill up my can, or, or bend over, you know, and, uh, gymnasium, <laughs> and you know, poor Casey would break up and laugh, and uh, we had to kind of curtail that because the kids thought uh, that we were laughing at their name, but, uh, and, you know, <laughs> some of the behind the scenes things, it was unbelievable. Let's, uh, Bobby, I bet everybody could sing, and John, they could sing uh, Happy Happy Birthday with us. Come on, guys. Well, you guys all remember the lyrics, right? Uh, mm -hmm. all right, all right. Well, well, just in case you know, Dan had some alternate lyrics. Did you know that? Oh, yes. <laughs> Did you know that?